Hi. This is a presentation of the BOSS DD20 digital delay unit uh, with a delay time up to 23 seconds and a seamless program change. I thought I might show you some of the features it has. As you can see, it's a double pedal with plenty of options. Let's turn it around and see the back side of it. Here we have A and B inputs, so you can put two different instruments in it. A control pedal input, of uh, headphones out, uh, A and B outputs, and the power input. Under here we have the battery compartment. It uses six AA batteries, but uh, using batteries on a delay unit, well, don't. They'll be dead in no time. Can't really say if it's good or bad that they switched from 9 volt batteries to this. Now let's take a look at some of the modes it has. Uh, it's got the SOS mode, which stands for sound on sound for creating loops and such. Uh, then there's uh, two uh, kind of special effect sounds, the warp and twist. Uh, someone might find them useful. And then we have the uh, tape delay, uh, which is pretty good, and analog delay, standard, dual, pan, uh, smooth, modulate, and uh, reverse. Okay, let's turn the pedal on so I can show you the different output modes it has. To do this, you have to press the left pedal down as you plug the power on. And now it shows that it's on output mode 3, which is a signal level output. It says uh, 4 dB here. And it's very useful if you connect the pedal into an effect loop or a mixing console. It's got uh, four different output modes. There's uh, out output one, which is just a basic output. In output mode two, uh, the A output gives uh, out the dry signal and B the wet signal. So that's kind of useful uh, in recording sessions and such. And then there's the 4 dB output that I use. Uh, it's basically a level signal output. And the fourth one uh, is 4 dB output and uh, here again A is the dry signal and the B is the wet signal. The left pedal is the on-off switch for the uh, delay and uh, on sound on sound mode uh, it doubles as a play record pedal. Let's turn the sound on sound on and the light back on so you can see. You probably want to turn the effect level all the way to maximum so the uh, loop level is same as the original signal. Let's start a loop and you can see that the numbers are running from 100 uh, and if you reach zero then the memory is full. Press again and the indicator shows in uh, four zeros when the loop is at the end and then starts again. And if you want to overdub, hold the pedal down and it starts recording over the uh, previous loop. And then let go when you're done and it keeps re repeating what you've played and you can uh, switch to another delay setting and play over the loop. But if you switch to another setting, uh, then the loop will be gone for good. And this really isn't a looping pedal, but uh, you can do some quite cool stuff with it. The right pedal is used to switch from the uh, manual mode that it uh, goes into when you turn the machine on into the presets mode. There are four different 
preset uh, locations that you can save your own presets in. And you can switch between presets by uh, pressing both of these pedals at the same time, uh, <laughs> which is easier said than done. Okay, there you go. You can see that it changes. And the uh, left turns it on and off. And you can switch back to the manual mode, just pressing the right pedal again. There is a tap tempo button that you can use to change the tempo with. And uh, there is also uh, this tempo button uh, that uh, changes the way the tap tempo works. Uh, you probably can't see it, but there's a little note here, and it changes every time you push the button. It's got quarter note, uh, dotted eighth note, uh, quarter note, triplet, eighth note, eighth note, triplet, half note, triplet, uh, dotted quarter note, half note, uh, dotted half note, a whole note. So you can get it to work the way you want. The right pedal is also switchable to tap mode, as you press it down, uh, and uh, there's an option for a, a control pedal that can be used to switch uh, presets or as a tap tempo. Here you have your tone knob, uh, you turn it down so it gets kind of muffled and all the way up, it's uh, brighter than the original sound, so in the middle is a good choice. Uh, you have your effects level here, your feedback amount, all the way down it repeats just once, all the way up uh, it goes on forever uh, on most settings. Here you have your delay time, if you press it down and turn it changes the rate very quickly.